Hello, you are welcome to solve this nice square root problem. Yeah, and what is given which will have square root of 3x plus 7 plus square root of x plus 2 equals to 1. Yeah, let's take the square root here, which is root x plus 2 to the other side and this becomes square root of 3x plus 7 now equals to 1 minus square root of x plus 2 then from this step let's square both sides when we square this side and we also square this side and this side follows from when we have a minus b all square and this will be a square minus 2ab plus b square and from here the square comes to the square roots and we have 3x plus 7 now equals to what we have here is now 1 square then minus 2 times 1 times square root of x plus 2 then plus root x plus 2 all square then when we simplify this further this gives us 3x plus 7 then equals to 1 square is 3 1 and then we have minus 2 times 1 that's it 2 then times root x plus 2 then plus here yeah, square cancel square root and this gives us x plus 2 then from here on this side we have 1 plus 2 that's 3 so this can be written as x 3x plus 7 now equals to here we have 3 now then plus x minus 2 times root x plus 2 then from here let's take this 3 and x to this side so that this becomes 3x minus x now then plus 7 here and minus 3 now equals to what is left here will be minus 2 then root x plus 2 then from here 3x minus x here give us 2x then 7 minus 3 we have plus 4 then which is equal to here we have minus 2 times root x plus 2 then in the next step, let's square both sides of this again, and this becomes 2x plus 4 all square, then equals to minus 2 times root x plus 2 all square as well. Then on this side, what we have <coughs> when we expand this is 2x all square, that will be 4x square then plus 2 times 2x times 4 that give us 16x then plus 4 square here and that's 16 which is equal to on this side the square here we have first minus 2 so we have minus 2 square then we also affect root x plus 2 so we have root x plus 2 also square and this becomes 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 now equals to here minus square is plus then 2 squared that's 4 that's 4 then here this square cancel square root then we have multiplied by x plus 2 then from here 4 we open this bracket and this becomes 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 now equals to here we have 4x plus 
it now. Then we can bring everything to one side. Let's take this distance to this side, then this becomes 4x squared. Here we have plus 16x now, then minus 4x. Then we have plus 16, then minus 8, now equal to 0. Then this reduces to 4x squared. Then here 16x minus 4x, we have plus 12x. Then we have 16 minus 8, we have plus 8, now equal to 0. Then here, we can divide through this equation by 4. So when we divide through by 4 from here, this will reduce to x squared. Then plus 12 divided by 4 here, we have 3x now. Then plus this one will reduce to 2, then equals to 0 here. Then from here, we can solve this quadratic equation by factorizing. That is, the product here which is 2 can be separated as 2 multiplied by 1 and also the sum here which is 3 is same thing as 2 plus 1 so then we can then replace this as x squared plus 2x then plus x now plus 2 now equals to 0 from here then when we factor this together to 2, we have x common here, then leaving x plus 2 here, then plus 1 common here, leaving x plus 2, then equals to 0. Then what we have here is common as x plus 2 out, then we have x left here, then 1 left here, which is equal to 0, which means is either we have x plus 2 equal to 0 or we have x plus 1 equal to 0 and here x equals to minus 2 here x equals to minus 1 now which of these two solutions will satisfy this given problem that is from what we have which is square root of 3x plus 7 then plus square root of x plus 2 which is equals to 1 now for x equals to 2 here yeah, minus 2 here yeah. so when x equals to minus 2 this will become square root of 3 times minus 2 then plus 7 plus square root of minus 2 plus 2 which is equals to 1 from here then here 3 times minus 2 that gives us minus 6 so we have minus 6 square root of minus 6 plus 1 then plus here this gives us minus 2 plus 2 this gives us 0 here is this equals to 1 from here then here minus 6 plus 7 is 1 so we have root 1 plus root 0 here is still 0 is this equals to 1 then root 1 here is 1 plus 0 that's c1 which is equals to 1 so we have left hand side equals to the right hand side it implies that x equals to minus 2 satisfies this particular equation now for x equals to minus 1 so this particular equation will become square root of 3 times minus 1 then plus 7 then plus square root of minus 1 plus 2 is that equals to 1 then when we simplify this we have minus 3 plus 7 that's root 7 minus 3 which is root 4 then plus here we have minus 1 plus 2 that's 2 minus 1 which is plus root 1 is this equals to 1 on this side then what we have here root 4 is 2 then root 1 is 1 is this equals to 1 and we discover this is 
2 plus 1, which is 3, and 3 here is not equal to 1. So, hence x equals to minus 1 is an exterior solution here. It doesn't satisfy the given problem. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Share this video. See you in the next class. And bye for now.